Hello and welcome back to That's English. My name's Vanessa. And I'm Tony. Today's programme is about humour, el humor. It's strange, isn't it, how humour is different in different countries. Yes, and I know that visitors to Britain sometimes find British humour difficult to understand. Or else they think it's just not funny. You're going to meet Gino. He's a journalist at the Echo newspaper. Well, Gino's from Italy, and he sometimes doesn't understand British humour. Today, Gino and his friends from work are meeting in the pub. They're telling each other jokes. You'll hear Tom tell a joke about a race, una carrera, between a tortoise, which has a shell, and a whippet. You'll see that two different types of humour are mentioned. The first is irony, la ironía. And the second is, well, listen carefully and see if you can find the answer to this question. What's the second type of humour mentioned? Tom, look, I'm sorry. I know it's my round, but I haven't got any money to buy drinks. I left my purse at home. Again? <laughs> That's all right. I'll buy some drinks for you. An orange juice, please, Tom. A pint of bitter. A dry martini. Bitter, please, Tom. Righto. Hey, Gino, did you read my article yesterday? No, I'm sorry, Clive, I didn't. Was it any good? Any good? Was it any good? How dare you? No, it was rubbish. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, Gino, when I said it was rubbish, I was only joking. Oh, I see. I apologize. Don't mention it. <clears throat> Look, sorry everybody, but I have a confession to make. Sometimes I find your British humor very difficult. I don't understand why you're laughing. You're always saying one thing when you mean something else, aren't you? Clive says his article was rubbish, but he means it was great. I don't understand. Irony, Gino. Yes. The British love irony, don't they? Mm. But the Italians don't understand irony, do they? Of course we do. But I think you British use irony far too much. And it isn't always funny. Well, not to me. I'm sorry that I haven't laughed at your jokes. I'm sure they're very funny, if you are British. You'll laugh at this joke, Gino. A man goes into a pub with his dog. It's a racing dog, a, a whippet. In the corner of this pub is an old man. And on this table is a tortoise. A tortoise? Yes, it's a very slow animal with a shell. but. The shell on this tortoise is all broken. It looks terrible. It's hardly moving. Anyway, this old man shouts at the man with the dog. Here, I'll bet my tortoise can beat your dog in a race. Well, the man with the dog laughs, <laughs> but the man with the tortoise shouts again. Here, I'll bet you a hundred pounds my tortoise can beat your dog in a race. Well, the man with the dog thinks, that's easy money. Okay, old man and they go out into the car park. <laughs> now, the old man puts the tortoise down on the ground, he stands up and he says, you see that street light over there? My tortoise will race your dog to that street light. The man with the dog says, okay. The dog's all excited, ready to go. The poor tortoise is hardly moving, but the old man says, ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a great joke. But I thought you didn't like it. <sighs> Never mind. I thought it was a bit cruel. It was black humour, Gino. What a wonderful joke. Great. Whee! Do you really think so? No. I thought it was a terrible joke. I agree with Gino. 
I thought it was a bit cruel. I thought it was a bit cruel. Un poco cruel. Actually, I thought it was very cruel. Yes, but Tom explained what sort of humour it is. It was black humour, Gino. It was black humour. Humor negro. And that's the answer to the question we asked you.